Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now today, as you can see, Halloween is finally here. Halloween, the Halloween event has hit Silesium, Throne, and Liberty. Now you can see here the outfit that I'm rocking. I've brought the Grin Reaper outfit. This is the one that I said in the last video that I was um, looking forward to getting. Luckily, I had uh, I had enough Lucent left in the bank. <laughs> I'm now uh, broke when it comes to Lucent though, so I'm going to have to, um, hopefully I get lucky with some RNG drops and I can um, start selling, start flipping items on the auction house again to um, get that Lucent back. But in my opinion, it was it's definitely worth it. And I've gone ahead and dyed it to uh, red and black, which you... Guys and girls should know by, know by now, red and black is my thing. That's my favorite color scheme and color theme. Even in uh, IRL, I love red and black and clothes and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, got the skin, hyped about that. And it goes perfectly with my uh, weapon skins that I'm rocking. So I'm going to show you the um, other outfits that are in the game and also the brand new uh, weapon skins that are in the, it also been added today into the game. Um, personally, I prefer the ones that I've got, so um, I'm not actually going to be rushing to buy the brand new ones, but if I get some spare Lucent here and there before they come out of the store, I'll probably buy them just because I like collecting skins and stuff like that, as I'm sure many of you other, other, others are as, as well. Now, you need to log in. Obviously, when you log in every day, you're going to be collecting this candy corn. Um, you need this candy corn material, basically, to, to, to do the brand new... Halloween event dungeon, um, which I'll show you right now. So if we go to co-op dungeons, we've got the brand new Haunted Labyrinth. It's just an event dungeon. And as you can see, you need one candy corn to be able to get the reward. So it doesn't use your um, contract tokens. It's it's showing us that it's now going to be using, obviously, candy corn. Um, these are the expected rewards. You get dimensional pumpkins, which you need to, you know, you need this to be able to purchase items from the event uh, vendors um, we can get a headpiece we can get a amatoy a special morph another morph here uh, an abundance bundle which gives us as you can see uh, growth stones and then we can get spooky pumpkin pie 50 percent mastery bonus also contract token efficiency if it lasts for 15 minutes then we have the choco spider cookie Gives us critical hit chance and critical damage. Again, 15 minutes. Then we have a, in, a cooking ingredient basket. 500,000 Solent, which is always handy. And then we also get Ornate coins as well. So that's, that's again, handy. So yeah, really, really, really good. Now also, guys, what they have done is um, if you go to party matchmaking and then if you go to random, They've added this. This is really, really huge. The reason for this is why it's so good is, as you can see here, you have a chance to get, well, you, you get a guaranteed dimensional soul, soul shard selection box chest, which helps in general, but you have a chance for a dimensional essence salvation. This is huge because you need one of these to craft um, a ring and you need two of these to craft a, a gear piece. Um, so this is insane. Um, before you would have to just basically do a world tour of all of the dungeons until you had enough coins of each to then be able to craft one of these and then craft the second one. But the fact that you can just do random dungeons and you get a chance, and also obviously you get a guaranteed box of one of these, I think that's amazing. So that's a really, really good change. Um, yeah, so get, get doing some uh, random dungeons. Unfortunately for me, I always use my tokens, so I only have uh, 600. So for, for those of you that haven't been able to play recently, or you've saved up a lot of your uh, contract tokens, and you should just be farming this. Farm this uh, on random, on repeat as much as you can, and hopefully you get loads of these. That will really help your, your gear progress, and also you'll be able to get um, some traits unlocked as well. Right, so if we go into the shop, you will see the prices. So we have the Wicked Enchanter Bundle. It's going to cost 1.2k uh, Lucent. This is the outfit. I'm not a huge, huge fan. Obviously, it fits perfectly for Halloween, you know, and you can obviously change this. You can remove the jacket. You can remove the shirt and the hat, for example. Um, you get a 
cool looking Amatoy. And then you also get this haunted frame, uh, which you can um, add on the Mirrors Boutique. Then we have the Grin Reaper outfit, which is what I obviously have. It's 1,100 Lucent, pretty damn nice. This is the original color. I have, I've of course dyed mine, so you can dye yours whatever color you like. Um, let's go to the Mirror Boutique just to show you guys. So if I go to um, Weapon Appearance, and then I find the Greatsword. So this is the brand new Haunted Harvester Greatsword, looking pretty damn menacing to be honest. Like I said, it's not, these skins aren't my favorite, but they do look good. I can I can always say that. The the level of detail they put into the skins are, is always top quality in my opinion. They do a really, really, really good job of the weapon skins. Sword and Shield looks amazing. The Sword and Shields always look phenomenal in this game though. Um, <laughs> Maybe there are maybe the, the designer is an SNS main, who knows? But yeah, it's looking really, really nice. Then we've got the the daggers. The daggers go pretty damn well with this outfit, actually. Um, and then where is it? We have the crossbows. Followed by the longbow. The longbow is looking huge. <laughs> it's massive, but again, level to detail is Again, top quality. And then we have the staff. Loving the pumpkin there. And then we've got the skulls as well. And then last but not least, we have the uh, wand and tome. Just look at this, guys. Just look at this. The detail with the, with the fire, the flame effects. Very, very, very nice. So yeah, but I'm gonna stick for now, um, unless unless I get some spare Lucent, so I need to start selling some stuff, getting some good RNG drops. I'm gonna stick with what I have, um, because I think it just looks looks pretty damn good, and it and it you know goes well. Now also I wanted to go down to the sundries, and I'll show you. You can now um, I've just gone ahead and done this. Check your sundries merchants because you can now rebuy this. I literally just rebought these a moment ago. Um, I don't know why I was able to rebuy these, um, but you can. So if you can log on, double check, make sure you can. If you can get them, go ahead and get them. It might have something to do with the fact that um, the reset has now been changed to Thursday. I don't know, but it is what it is. Just go ahead and buy those. Now also for cooking, you can now purchase the grape juice here um, and it's unlimited. There's no daily limit. It's just purely unlimited. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And you can obviously start cooking different ingredients now because of the grape juice. So yeah, that's really, really good. Really, really um, good to see that's been added into the game. But yeah, guys, just loving the uh, all of the details of around the, uh, around the town. It's looking nice. It's looking good looking really really good but yeah anyway stay tuned to the channel because i'm going to be trying out the uh, event dungeon later on today um so i'm going to obviously record that and bring it to the channel see what we get see if it's hard see if it's challenging and yeah hope you've enjoyed this one if you have don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next video see you soon peace